yeah. Anita, Anita does a great job with it. Do you iMovie? Um, oh, you mean when I record stuff? iMovie, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do more Does of that. Take you though. a long time to figure that out. I maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, that's I'm gonna not be good. your. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Is that gonna be tech. your new class? Are you gonna teach me I maybe now? No, but Lisa Walker can teach you. Is, does she do that? She had a class on OutSchool. Um, ask her about. I'm pretty sure it was iMovie. Oh, awesome. yeah. Ask her if you I'll need if you need it. help with I'll it. I'll take it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take it. Yeah. Because I feel like I need to get the quick and dirty version. I yeah. Movie, I movie in one hour or less or something. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm not You're great at that. Know, just like anything else. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me, y'all, um, tonight. You're welcome. I'm excited. Hey. I've never done this. In case you don't know me, I'm Susan. Um, what am I up to, Anita? Uh, um, I do... On Susan does person. everything. Uh, I do everything. No, I can't do everything. I do um, I do online and in person art classes for kids. I do some um stuff for adults. Um, I am pretty excited about starting my kids creative power club, which is going to be an online membership starting starting this fall. So. It, um, if you know anybody who's got creative kids ages six to 10, toss them my way, website, social media. And um, it, that's going to be a big journey for me doing an online club. So I'm pretty excited about that. That'll be this fall um, when school starts up again. So cross your fingers that school actually starts up again in person. Um, also, it's good for like homeschoolers, unschoolers, weird schoolers, no schoolers, any people like people like that. Um, so I, I have this book um, from Austin Cleon and I, I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. It's called Steal Like an Artist. Have you heard of um, that book before? So Austin Cleon is a pretty well-known kind of creative author. And he was the one who popularized blackout poetry. Um, he was he was sitting around one day he's a writer so he's an author and he was sitting around one day and he's like had this like writer's block so he's like typing trying to like fill a page and he like was like ah, I can't do this so so he picked up a newspaper I, I, I'm pretty sure it was in New York Times if I'm not mistaken he picked up a newspaper and he started just looking through that I mean for words just any words any words that hit him um, and so uh, he, uh, I, don't, I don't know if he really invented it per se, but he popularized it um, and he published it online. So I think people had done it before, but they hadn't really popularized it. They hadn't published it online and um, he made a website about it. In fact, it's still, uh, it's still up. You can go to, um, it's called newspaperblackout.com, newspaperblackout.com. And he publishes his own stuff and other people's stuff. People send him stuff. Um, and, um, and, and he has a book that has a lot of his um, blackout poetry in it too. Now he just does the words and the black without any other designs. And I thought it might be kind of fun to do some other designs, but we'll kind of see how it goes. And you could do more than one of these. I don't know if we are gonna keep it to one or, uh, or more than that. Um, something else Austin Cleon did that I thought was super fun is, is um, a couple of years ago, he had a gallery exhibit in New York about blackout poetry and he had all this blackout poetry on the walls and he had a whole, Thing, like a big table where people could just like do their own blackout poetry and stick it up on the wall. So I thought, oh, that's really cool because it makes it like so participatory for, you know, the viewers. And I thought, oh, that was really cool because, you know, art galleries aren't really known for embracing amateur art, you know. So uh, I was at, uh, I was at my community center the other day and they had all these books that they were just like getting rid of and from their library and I thought oh I'm just gonna nab one random book for blackout poetry so what are you all what are you all using I didn't know I have a <laughs> you can go to like 
magazine. You can go to like half price books and get some like, I like what do you have, Anita? Like a Xerox or something I like Xerox, that? I'm reading um, Big Magic right now. Um, so oh, I, yay. Yeah, so I just Xeroxed um, the page I'm on, two pages I'm on. So will that work? Yeah, for sure. I'm just going to choose a random page because I don't want to even really know what's on it and uh, tear it up. So that's step one is just to tear out your page. Or just find a page with, with like more words than pictures or just words, it just kind of depends on the page. And I think I'll use this side. And um, grab a piece of um, scrap paper too, like just a piece of Xerox paper or whatever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our page and we're not going to read it. Now, try really hard not to read it for context. I know we have to read it, like read the words, but try not to like read it like you're trying to comprehend it. Just read it so that the, the, the words are just individual words. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through our page. We're going to take a pencil and when you see a word that uh, speaks to you, comes out to you, if you think is interesting, just take it, your pencil and put a little box around it, like a light, a light box. And you're not going to end up using all the words that you box. So don't feel like, oh, I've got to be like really choosy about it. We'll probably end up using like a half of what we end up choose, you know, choose right now. So, um, and and if you want and. If you want to, as you go, you can write the word on this scrap paper or what I like to do is I'm just going to do the whole, the whole thing and then go back and write the words on the scrap paper. So I need some reading glasses because I'm totally blind. And um, I'm going to swap views for you. I'm, I'm not happy with my supplies. I will be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to go, I'm going to go through it and I'm just going to be like, okay, you know, whatever kind of hits you. Okay. Um, oh, and it could be a, it could be a phrase too. It doesn't have to be a single word. So if you see, um, you know, I don't know if you see like three or four words in a row that you think are interesting, then just draw a box around that phrase. I had absolutely no magazines in the house or newspapers, so I tore out a page from the 1040 tax instruction booklet. Well, that should be a good read. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. And the page I tore out also has, has Spanish and English. I would recommend the English side. <laughs> um, I actually got this interesting junk mail today, so I was thinking maybe I could use that as well. Well, I am bilingual, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. It's from the Humane Farming Association, so that should be pretty interesting. <laughs> I, it, it's not even addressed to me, but I thought, well, maybe I'll use that too. Yeah, I was the same way. I had no magazines. I, I just threw all. a bunch of them. I threw away a people, bunch. Of people them. just don't, don't. People just don't have magazines anymore. The only yeah. magazines I get are the ones that, like, someone who lived here before me four years ago could, keeps getting, and they yes. just keep sending it to me. I don't know why. I call them like a thousand times, and they keep sending it to me. <laughs> so I after a while, you, it's like not worth it. Yeah. Mine is more like I'll rip out recipes, but. I was thinking I didn't know if that would really work. I guess I guess it it might have. I mean anything will work, right? I mean we're just selecting ran random words, right? So yeah. Yeah, like you just okay. uh, try not to read it for context, right, but right, just read right. it for just the words. Words that like jump out. Okay, gotcha. Jump out. It could be a phrase too. It doesn't it could be two or three words in a row if you want. Okay, cool. You know who has a lot of magazines? Susan. 
Really? Yes. You know, now that I come to think of it, I have like, um, what were those? Uh, National Geographic. I have like National Geographics from 1980 um, in oh my, my yeah. And the reason is because I started doing teaching collage, you know, to kids. Right. And so I have them in, um, you know, kind of like in our storage area, but our storage area is like a basement because we're in a townhouse and it's a shared, it, you know, it's a shared area and there's like, here's spiders and stuff. So yeah, I wasn't going in yeah. there it's, since it's raining. Yeah. See words are we looking for? Oh, it's my question just now. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot more than I think I'm going to need. Okay. Yeah. And then you mentioned you write the words on a scrap paper. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is after I'm done choosing some word ideas, I'm gonna write them down all in order on a piece of paper. Got it, okay. Because that's what we're gonna use to decide what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna not keep. Sure, okay. Oh, I've got place in there. Hold on. Boy, these cookies are just sitting here. They smell so good. <laughs> I would I would be diving into those even this late, which isn't good. Oh, I eat cookies. At, I'll eat cookies at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never met a cookie I didn't like. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm picky about my cookies. I will say that. Hello. I don't like cheap cookies. Uh, yeah, I hear you on that. Well, and June is always cooking and baking, and she'll send me like she'll send me a text and she, oh look, I made this and I'm oh god that looks good because I don't really bake. I mean, oh, I, I bake. So my baking consists of opening up. Um, you know, like a package. Oh, no. <laughs> now, see, I won't eat that. 
I won't either. <laughs> I've actually never had like any of those hostess Twinkies or any of those kind of things. Oh. Even if it's like I do get the I do get the natural the natural baking mixes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, no. I mean, it's a, it's the whole thing of doing it. Uh, it has to be it has to, taste. It's just the, it has to be from scratch. And I uh, will tell you, my husband, my Bill has argued with me because um, he goes to companies that make the bake uh, like a, bu a box of Dun Duncan Hines or whatever, and he says it's the same thing. It's the yeah. same ingredient. I said, no, they have powdered egg. I have a real egg. Yes. You know, they have powdered vanilla. I have real vanilla. Yeah. It's not the same thing. I'm sorry. You're right. There is a you difference. Can, there is a difference. And I can taste a box dessert in a minute. I don't eat them. I will remember that if you ever invite me to anything, I will be sure to make it by scratch. It may not taste great, but. No, then go to the bakery. I was going to say, so see, to me, that's what bakeries are for. <laughs> if you don't enjoy baking, you shouldn't have to do it. I mean, that's yeah. so bad. Sure. I always feel I, bad when people, you know, you go to things and people are supposed great. to bring something. And yeah, I don't mind because I usually, well, my go-to is always hummus and cut up vegetables, but. Me too. Yeah, I just think it's funny because people will show up with their trays that they got at Costco or something. I'm like, you know, yes. I mean, obviously you wanted to bring something, but you don't like to cook or bake, right? Yeah. Yeah, I always feel bad for them because like don't bring something if you don't want to make it because yeah well, there's always plenty of because I find it relaxing to cook. Yeah, I do too. I I enjoy yeah. cooking and I've been baking since I was twelve. My mother couldn't bake for the life of her, even though she tried. Yeah. <laughs> my mother was an excellent cook but could not bake, so I started baking when I was twelve, and I've been baking ever since. But I don't bake as much as I used to because I could bake and eat it all and never gain an ounce, and now of course I do. So. And I still like to eat it all. Yeah, yeah, me too. So when you write your words, make sure they're in the same order as they are on your page. Yep. Okay. And I think mine are mirrored, but you get the gist. There's backwards, isn't it? No. Uh, I don't think so. Your words. Yeah. Oh, is it right? Is it the way it's mm -hmm. the writing? Yep. I never know how it looks. It looks to me, it looks mirrored, but. Okay, good. Oh, really? Interesting. You know, Zoom, Zoom is, Zoom is Zoom. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I have, Zoom. I have too many words. Yeah, I do too. So well, I, I, I've got a lot of words, so I'm still. Oh, I have, I have a shorter page, though. I have 26. Is that too many? So I have two pages that are short. I wonder if I should combine those two pages, the words that I have. Up to you. I have phrases also. Yeah, that's right. I have a couple of phrases. Like, for example, I could have, I got it with 10 bucks. Did anybody yeah. used to buy those? I still have these. Like you put them on the refrigerator and they are oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. magnets oh, of poet, like the poetry. Oh, I have like yeah. a zombie one for how I have some. I haven't used it for a long time. I love those things. I haven't used them either, but I was just thinking about it that I, I ran into them the other day, I think in Target and I, I almost bought another one, but my husband would kill me because I've got, like I said, I have a zombie one. I have Shakespeare. I have an artist one. Like they had all these different sort of. Yeah, they have, they have themes now. Mm hmm All right. Well, this is way too many words, but this is how many words. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of words. Whoa. Uh, so what we're going to do after you have to. Um, does everyone have their list of words? Should I slow down? No, we're good. Yep, yeah. I've got mine. So then what you're gonna do is we're gonna compose our poem like on our scrap paper here before we get to the blacking out part. Um, and read your words in order and see if any of them 
like make any sense, you know, see, see if they like go together um, or even if they don't go together, maybe you're just writing these kind of thematic words or something like that. Um, so sometimes, and, and so sometimes the words will get in the way. So, you know, like maybe, maybe beach, lose your lose herself might go together in which case i would cross out these two because they're in the way of of like this and this together just see what makes sense to you and it's okay to spend a little time here because this is like our final poem so we're going to want it to be the way we want it to be Um, also, don't worry about little words like the and I and stuff like that, because you, you'll probably be able to find that in here if you need to. Also, you can use parts of words. So maybe I don't want to say herself. Maybe I just want to say self. So I'm going to black out the her. Definitely harder than it looks. Yeah, you think? Or maybe my brain's not working tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get rid really, of you really have to keep an open mind. Like you have to remember, like that it may not be like the perfect poem, you know. Yeah. It may just kind of be like haiku-ish or. Um, oh, gotcha. Okay. Something like that. Responsibilities are from three pages. If you if you want to read it out loud before you commit to it, that's understandable. And 
and you'll probably end up seeing a theme somewhere as you start making this. What I started finding is with the words that I wrote down, I like them, but then I started finding a theme, adding some of the other words that I didn't pick originally. Does that make sense? Are, are you going back to the page? Yeah, are like I was, because I'm, okay. I'm reading it and I'm going, oh wait, you know, I can put that so that it makes sense. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do it, but. Okay, what, what's next if we have our poems? It's your method, Art Nita. She doesn't like it. She doesn't want me to call it. Um, so after, it. after you have it the way you want it, you're going to um, go back to your printed page and draw a box around those, a black box with Sharpie around the words. I think my Sharpie is gonna go through here. Sharpie, I'm underneath it. A black box around the words that are gonna stay in your poem. And then think about um, any symbols, sketches, images um, that you could relate to your poem. Something that you feel you are able to draw or represent. I'm also going to take an eraser to my page and erase the pencil lines that I didn't use. Susan, can I use a gray Sharpie? Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, you can use any color Sharpie, really. Okay. They call it blackout poetry. I mean, I've seen people use red or green or... or oh, or wow. Okay. I just realized my... I feel like I've given all the good 
black Sharpies to students in art kits. <laughs> oh my God, I know. Yeah, I, I've been buying out by the, you know, whatever, the, the 48 pack or something. Yeah, like yeah. They just don't last for forever, do they? Mm -mm. It's like every, every, um, every after every kit you have to give them another one because they've killed it for yep. you know So I'm looking at my poem and I'm thinking that it's like, I, I, I guess this story takes place in a beach or some, somewhere. I haven't read this book, so I don't really know what it's about, but so I'm considering maybe drawing some kind of water or maybe a lighthouse. Oh yeah. Um, something beachy. So think about what you might want to represent. It could be a symbol. It could be, it doesn't have to be complicated. It could be like a heart or a star. You know, it could be like a, just a few stars in the sky, maybe if it's a nighttime thing. It yeah. doesn't have to be, you don't have to get all like, I can't draw about it. Um, so are, is like, is it in relationship to the words or just kind of somewhere else on the page? Um, it doesn't have to be like right next to the word. It can be like anywhere on the page. So there's two choices. You can do something right on top of the words that you're not using, or you can do something in this white space if you have some white area around your words or underneath your words or, or somewhere like that. Um, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking about drawing like a, you know, God, this is gonna be like, this is definitely gonna be like off the, I feel like I should pencil it first. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm too nervous to, to, to not do it that way. Um, I feel like I wanna draw like a, I'm going to pencil it first, even though really, who's watching? I know. I'm the same way, though. I have to pencil everything first. Yeah, I do like to pencil things. So I'm thinking about drawing like a little light, a little lighthouse over here. Oh, nice. Something like that. Um, and it'll be sort of coming out of the corner. Very cool. Yeah, I had looked up some examples of blackout poetry before this because I had heard about it and I had seen some, but you're right. Some people don't draw stuff on the page. Some people don't draw stuff on it at all and don't, and don't feel compelled to, but I think it's a nice addition. Oh, and yeah. Austin, and Austin Cleon does not. He just does the words without any extra, you know, items on it. But I think it's a nice addition. Oh, I agree. Well, I saw some, like someone had done like two eyes, um, you know, or there was one they had done like just the side of a face and it wasn't a real detailed face or anything. It was just, you know, had something to do with their poem. Right. Yeah. So make it, um, well, that's pretty decent. But yeah, or like what you're saying, um, like a heart. Oh yeah, Mary, absolutely. Look at Mary's, that's so awesome. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. Where, where's, where's Mary's? I can't see it. Oh, it's, a, uh, she, she, it's she, not mine, it's just she's an, an example. Us yeah. yeah. Oh, so did like a feather. Oh, a leaf is good, a couple leaves, that's good. That's really cool. Okay. All right, let's see, what can I draw? Maybe that. I'm thinking about a star too. I like it because it's like a nighttime thing. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do a few on this side too. come up with something I mean it really depends on your text sometimes you come up with something kind of serious you know sounding and then sometimes you come up with something really ridiculous sounding um so it's all good this one seems pretty serious and I kind of wish I did one that was a little funnier <laughs> I need, I need to, to get uh, like the, the latest uh, edition of the newspaper because there's always hilarity in that. And of course, the next step is to black stuff out. So um, what you do is you just take your Sharpie and you run it over everything that's not your word. And there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can, oh, and don't go through your, um, don't, don't black out through your, um, through your drawing if you have any drawing on there. So there's a couple of, I should probably pin my pin myself. I forgot to do that. Um, let me figure this out. Go. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can you can cross out lines like that and just leave it, or you can essentially just make your whole page black oh. like that. I need a heavy. If you want to start inhaling all that Sharpie. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> good thing I'm not drinking. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> smell. No, because I'm getting high just from all this Sharpie. Um, but but you can just you can just go like that and and leave it just crossed out like this too. Your choice. I kind of like the idea of a whole black page. I don't know why. Well, especially yours with the with the night, you know. Yeah. At nighttime. It's kind of cool. Little, I'm, not, I'm being slightly sloppy about it. I should probably go slower. We are not going to judge. <laughs> Thank you. Peter <laughs> is not going to get judged. <laughs> I'm just facilitating. I, I didn't, do not claim to be any good at any of it. I always find that the people 
who are hanging out do amazing things. Yep. Don't you think? Yeah. I, I always agree. like other people to work better than my own. Oh, me too. That's just me, maybe, but. I think, I think that's, I think that's everybody. I don't know. It's me too. Yeah. music it's relaxing I, I love the um i love this spotify station i think it's called like calm something Ooh. Sometimes i'll just play it in the background when i'm just hanging out at home love it if you ask siri to play spa music you get like the same kind of stuff i do that a lot yeah. when I'm by myself nice I mean, I just, I feel like I need all the calmness I can get my hands on. So whatever, yep. whatever I works. Have a, I have a recommendation for a beautiful, um, it's a Spotify playlist. It's the score from Nomadland. It's amazing. Wow. Okay. It's Nomad. like, it, it actually, it wasn't composed for the movie. It was, um, it was pre, it was, you know, it was, it was a uh, music that, existed previously and the director just selected it for the movie um wow but they have it as a playlist on spotify and it's amazing i highly oh recommend oh my gosh it. all right i'm writing it down you know, you're wanting you know like beautiful you know relaxing music to listen to mm -hmm. i do remember there was great music in that movie come to think of it oh thank mm -hmm. you yeah they've, they've got it all you know curated for you right there <laughs> i think they real do a you know for whatever 10 bucks a month whatever i'm paying for this thing i think they do an amazing job of curating i mean it's like listening to the radio but better you know exactly no ads no no like genres that you don't care for yeah i'm ready to share <laughs> all right wow. you, can, you can leave your piece black and white nothing wrong with that or you can add some markers or color to, to parts of it um, as well. Like a little pop of color. I'm thinking of make, making my stars like a little bit yellow maybe and put a little red here. I wanna see. Let's see, are you gonna read us the poem? No, that's what I'm excited about. Wow, you're fast. Oh, oh you are oh, fast. Oh, uh, here now, wow, I gotta take my pictures. All right, here's, um, here's the poem, you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seeing quickly, many hearts, dramatically, first 12 weeks, out of control, too early to know, concentrating, few answers. Ooh, Ooh I like the ending. ending. I like that, first 12 weeks, out of control. Yeah. So okay, so now I'll tell you what the source material is because it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like nothing like it's nothing yeah. like what you end up it's, with. Um, it's an article about how they're treating um, long haul COVID patients at a Hadassah hospital in Israel. Oh, oh wow. 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 See, you would never guess that from, from that. No. Yeah, let me take your picture. Oh, cool. So I did like the eyes for seeing and the hearts and then the question mark. Yeah. I love it. That was fun. Yeah. How fun is that? 
And you can do it like, I'm thinking about doing it with my junk mail because I, I'm thinking I would get like really weird words out of that. Oh yeah. All right, I'm almost done here. How's, how's everybody doing? No, it takes a while and I only have a long way to go. <laughs> it takes a while to black out all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you need a, maybe you need a bigger Sharpie. You need a bigger Sharpie. You need a brush. Yeah, a big paint brush. <laughs> like a big paint brush. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just put a little bit of, of color in, in here. Call it Call it done. Put some red in the lighthouse. It's funny you're doing a lighthouse. We're doing one in Mex uh, Anita's class. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't even know that. There's another one Saturday. I was just channeling you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what we our teachers do. We channel each other. It's true. It's such a great group that we have online. So. I know Susan from, I guess we, it, we, I mean, we've never met in person, but we've met online. I hope to meet you in person one day. Yeah. Well, we all live in different places. So. Mm -hmm. Road trip. Mm -hmm. Art camp. But uh, I, I like to travel. So I, you never know where I'm going to be in any given moment. My travel has really taken a hit. Yeah. Well, everyone's trouble. I'm finally getting to go on a vacation uh, this month, a short one. It's the yeah. first one since COVID started. So I'm excited. Yeah. About it. yeah. Nice. And I went to see my kids, but I haven't really been anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, I went yeah, to see my daughter. I went to see my daughter once. That was it. Yeah. So I'm hoping to do a little more um pleasure travel shall we say i don't know we'll see how it all works out you never know i might shop in where are you guys pennsylvania where are you anita yep pennsylvania pennsylvania i might show up in pennsylvania you never awesome. know awesome come do it you like to hike love to hike nice okay me too that's what i'm going on a hiking trip Ooh. i'm not necessarily amazing at it but i do like it Oh, me either. That looks awesome. That's pretty decent. All right, I'll read it to you. Beach, leaving, lose self. I bathed. I love her, solitude. In this stillness, miraculous heart, confused mind, love is missing. Community, freedom, higher thoughts, breaking, writing, Impatient, spiritual, impulsive beach. Oh, nice. I, don't yeah. I don't know what that means. Yay. Yeah, that's some good words. Awesome. I, I don't know what that means, but it just felt right. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds good. It good. Yeah. That's the beauty of the poetry. Beauty yeah. of it. It's really, it could be from anything. But I feel, now I feel like I want to try like different things. I'm going to try like the newspaper. <laughs> I'm going to try like, like yeah. my weird junk mail. I'm going to try like this men's magazine that some guy gets from like that from four years ago that yeah. I swear I've called like, I get like men's help. Do I really, I don't need this magazine. <laughs> I've called them like four times. I'm like, I don't want this magazine. Nice oh. to look at. It's nice to look it, at. It's got great looking guys in it, but I, you know, like <laughs> none of the articles apply to me. So just, just use it for the pictures. <laughs> exactly. So funny. Okay, um, I'm just not even going to call anymore. It's just not worth it. Yeah. No. Um, not worth it. Um, um Mary. I'm like not that. sure the poem makes much sense, but <laughs> well, that's okay because they don't often. Any, <laughs> I think actual poems that poet 
poets publish sometimes don't make any sense to me. So <laughs> true. Yeah, you want to read it? Well, like I said, it doesn't make sense. It's just that's okay. Sense. Breathwork allows universal life energy, gives mind focus, emotions safe. You can relax, imagine masterfully to the point. Okay. okay. I like it. I think that makes tons of sense. Can I yeah, see I'm it? Working on an income tax form. What's the, what's the image? Did you put an image on there? <laughs> on mine? <laughs> Yeah, do you have a drawing? Do you have an image I on it? I get a flower. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, check that out. It's nice, very nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I think it's, total. I think getting a little color in there is a good idea. Yeah, put a, just, um, you know, you don't need to overkill it, but just like a, some, maybe a spot of color on the flower part. Yeah. Um, yeah. It gives it a nice little pop. Oh, you're not kidding about the uh, about the marker. I know. I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> especially if you got, especially if you're doing a new one, which I I got a new one out of the thing out of yeah. my my. Box. Yeah, I have a new one too. Because I didn't want to run out. I didn't want to use one that was run out. So woo, babe. yeah. <laughs> I think they've really upped the smell factor on these lately. <laughs> Fresh fumes. Ooh. Open your windows. <laughs> I should have, I should have mine now. I warned everybody. Open your windows. June. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, I see the just color the lines like that. that. It takes out. forever to color. Oh, yeah, wow. did you do color. wait? Did you do those trees? Did you I did. did you draw those trees up top? Yep. That's oh. awesome. I really like that. Okay, so oh, you totally ready? love them. Mine's kind of interesting. Mine's a little abstract with my <laughs> my abstract poem. Oh. Okay, I'll okay. read that. Yeah, okay. it says three acres of woods, eventually, unpopular opinion, battling, stuck, overeager, oppressed, mountain, relief, evaporated, sanity by a thread, love, <laughs> persistent panic, stuck. Cold days, mask up. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, I love the ending. <laughs> it's a journey. <laughs> it was yeah. actually an article about gardening during the pandemic. So I thought it was kind of funny that I like the mask up at the end. I had to keep it. Yeah. I like the mask up at yeah. the end too. That's yeah. a great way to, to end it. Yeah. Did you find that that writing on the scrap paper was a big help in terms of composing? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's I think yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely. I don't think I could have done it just straight on the page. Yeah, I think that you need that helped. step. I agree. Stella, you want to share? Uh, sure. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little uh, abstract. Uh, so here's my little artwork. So. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty so wow. fast. Oh, yeah. uh, look at all those swirls and stuff. Oh, that's cool. I, I want to yeah. do that on mine. The past, the whole thing slanted as if it was falling, croak or laugh like a cartoon, like a giant. I felt little so early in the morning. I loop around, I came back, I was outside. Deal with this, you turning, keep going, hearing my name. I felt funny, I pretended, I noticed, wow. <laughs> That's that's really oh, cool. That's cool. That's like an actual cool. real poem. That that's someone... it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it was from a children's book. I just ripped a page out of the uh, my donation pile. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's, that's amazing. awesome. Yeah, very that's good. Amazing. Good word. Thanks. Yeah, I this is cool. I would have never thought I that was from a, a kid's book because it sounds so like yeah poetically yeah <laughs> like advanced. <laughs> Thank you. It's, way, it's all in the way you put it together. I could see getting hooked on this. I really like yeah. it. I never, I never did this before. I thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, that's that's why I'm here. Yeah, this is fun. I want I want everybody to like be hooked on some kind of doing something with their hands, and then my then then that makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want people to be doing like I don't want any, everybody to to be all stressed out. I just want people to just spend some time 
making because it's good for the soul. It, really it is good for the soul. Yep. Why we both. You're still working on that, Carmen? I, well, yeah, I, I don't know how everybody got their black in so quickly. I have a little piece of paper. This is, uh, my page was a lot smaller. This oh, maybe like, do the lines. <laughs> Who did the lines? They just, they didn't black just, out. They just put a line through. Yeah. That's uh, good. That, it looks cool and it saves time. Yeah. Okay, Don't well, get as high. I but... <laughs> uh, maybe I should just put my lines through. Well, Su Susan would, Susan. I think would... it also depends on like what your page is like. Cause like I, yeah. it's like a page from a magazine. So just crossing through the line, you know, was easy. Yeah. I, I can read, I can read mine. It's I, actually half of it's in English. The other half's in Spanish. Responsibilities, preference, <laughs> communication, um, spouse, prefer, you're married. Make... <laughs> Making, I think I my, my marker covered too much. Making requests, um, selection, communication, determinar su necesidad, determine your necessities, idioma, language, limitar, limited, declaración, de, declarations. Oh, with con su declaraciones, with your declarations. Comunicados, para cada comunicados, I, I, can't, I don't know what I covered there. For each communication, in ex, un, oh, for each, and then a stranger. Esco, um, su, le, su selección será efectivo. Uh, un, a stranger, your selection, will be effective it's, and, and easy. Didn't make any sense. Cause I so went it's from- about, It's about then. choosing a stranger to marry cause it's easy. Is that what it's about? <laughs> they say I love your leaf. Show everybody yeah. your design. I love like your leaf and your tree and, and how that how that all fits together. Yeah, thank you. But now, now I'm doing the lines. Oh, so it's beautiful. I'll be able to yeah, move faster. That was really nice. And Nita, we didn't do yours yet. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. You ready? I'm All ready. Right, I got you. I got okay. you. There you go. Okay, so this, I can kind of read it. So I did a, I did a, started doing sort of flower in a flower pot. Oh, pretty. As you charmed another story of magic, visited by wit, I felt inspired to jungle this idea, thrilling, daunting ideas. Daunting at first, I promised I would never fight against it. Wow. Good. Oh, that sounds like a real professional poet. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I love that, you guys. Oh, well, next nice. next time I won't pick an income tax instruction for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a challenge. That's, that's, five, that's uh, in two languages. <laughs> well, I'm lucky it wasn't in three. Then I would have been reading Italian as well. <laughs> you, you certainly had, you certainly uh, um, made it um, made it slightly more difficult. <laughs> I did. I did. You guys, this so you guys do this on different things and see how you feel. You know, get some junk mail tomorrow, or if, like, you know, you find some free newspaper somewhere or something like that, or if you get, does anyone even get the newspaper anymore? No. Get the newspaper. I actually bought a magazine at the dollar store. You know, they sell magazines in there for yep. a dollar. I know. I didn't know that. that. And I dollar store. Yeah, I picked one up. It was on um, like refurbishing old furniture and stuff like that. Huh. And and I looked through it quick and then I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> so I, I wasn't thinking I could have kept it. 
there's so much yeah you know, i mean there's just so much deb and you can you can always just like xerox something if you're like oh, i don't want to rip a book or something you can just yeah. go make a copy of it or scan it or whatever yeah i would feel guilty ripping a book book oh my gosh it pained me but this one was water damaged but it went against like my my grain and my soul <laughs> You know, there's people who, have you seen this in here? There's people who like, they fold the pages and they make all these different designs. Yeah. Oh, I know. It just it's feels like great. sacrilege. It does. does it? Yeah, it does. It kind of does. Doesn't I don't it? even like to break the spine if I don't have to. <laughs> all right, then you're using newspapers, Sal. <laughs> I don't, you don't feel bad about like, marking up newspaper, I'm do you? Marking it up more. No, no. Oh, you're getting there, Carmen. Great, Carmen. Beautiful. So, uh, thanks so much for hanging with me. Thank you. Thank you. Susan. I don't know what, you know, I really should plan this out like way farther in advance, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing next month. Yet. Right. So if you have any thoughts or ideas, you can certainly send them my way. I'm open to suggestion. But, um, I guess a, a, a smarter person would probably just get the whole year set and, and just have it the way. It I don't know those people. Oh. I don't hang out with those <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, what? Where, where, where are they? Are they way more organized than I am. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I like to flip this through. I, I like to just see how I feel about it before I commit to the whole year. You know? Yeah. I'm a. Mo I'm right. I'm mood driven. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm mood driven also. I agree. No, it must be an art thing. I'm mood driven too. Yeah. My husband loves that. <laughs> Well, well, my husband's an engineer, so he has to have everything planned out and the spreadsheet and all that other stuff. And I'm just yep. like, okay. Like sometimes he'll say, I said, we're going to do this. And then he'll say, okay, we're going to do this. I said, no, I changed my mind. I went to, oh, but we had planned. I said, but the plan is changed. <laughs> <laughs> That's my husband, Carmen, too. I always say I'm a woman, you know, yeah. women, woman. we have the prerogative to change yes. our mind. So expect it mm -hmm. Yeah. and go with the flow. That's right. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you're so funny. I love you, Carmen. Yeah, I think <laughs> well, this was a nice group. I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed that everyone got to read theirs and good stuff. Yeah, I agree. Oh, thanks, yeah. guys. I'm so happy to teach you all just a new fun thing to do. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. You're great, better, Susan. Yeah. It's be better than TV. Yep. Goodbye, know. everyone. And good night. Good night, night. Good night, night. Good 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 night.